Okay guys, so this is the finished look real quick. I went in and threw my clippings in. You will see that in the video as well. Did this makeup look using a bunch of e.l.f. products and a whole bunch of new products that you may not have seen me use before. I've been using a lot of different things. I will come back with different reviews on products, show you guys what's my favorites of the month and everything. But I just wanted to do this quick get ready with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm running out to work, so I will catch you guys on the next one. Any reviews, any products, I'll list that. I'll list all the information of all the products that I use down in the description box below. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye, y'all. Alright y'all, we're going to start off with the e.l.f. Mist and Set Spray. You guys know I love my hydration sprays. And starting off with a product that I have been testing and loving, which is the Strivectin Advanced Retinol Pore Refiner. Let me tell y'all, I have a full blog post over on caseways.com. I actually put it up earlier this week, so definitely check that out. But this stuff is bomb. If you have pores, definitely I recommend it highly. And going in with an eye wrinkle cream, another thing that I'm testing out by Christine Brinkley. I'll give you guys more details on that later on. I'm still testing it out. And we're going to go in with one of the products from the Elf, the Elf Play Beautifully box. And this is a lip balm. It has an SPF of 15. And you can see that pinkish color. I wanted to swatch that and show you guys. And you can clearly see it on my lips. But now I am going in with my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And if I forget the name of anything, definitely look in the description box below. I'll put all the, I'll put all the products that I use down there. But I'm doing some color correction now with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Orange Concealer. Because if you're like me, you may have some darkness or hyperpigmentation that you guys want to camouflage before you actually go in and put in your foundation and if you guys want to know more information about color correcting that is one of my top viewed videos it's like in my top 10 like every month so i'll leave that link here so you guys can check that out and now i'm going in with my holy grail foundation this is like one of my favorite foundations ever it is the lancome 10 Edel in the shade suede 510 and it just matches me so perfectly. I freaking love this stuff. It may look a little orange right now on the screen, but it really doesn't look like that. I think it's just the lights that I'm sitting under. But trust me, this Lancome Tainty Doll is the bomb. It does not transfer. It stays put. It lasts forever. So I freaking love this stuff. Now going in with my concealer just to brighten up underneath my eyes. And I'm actually using two concealers because I do different parts of my face. So going in to highlight all the sections that I like to highlight, I am using the LA Girls Pro Concealer. And this is a new shade that I'm using. And I'll leave that link down below. I usually use Fawn, but I thought that was a little too light because I had got a little darker because of the summer. This is a couple of weeks ago that this video was filmed. So I did get a little darker, so I had to go a little darker with my concealer. But to brighten that up a little bit, I am going in with a concealer that's a little too light for me, but I'm using that just underneath my eyes, and it's my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I am going to set all those areas with my new love of my life, that Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup Powder. When I tell you guys this powder is the bomb, I haven't used any other powder to set any of my concealers since I got this product like it really is the bomb I love this Sasha buttercup powder and I also use it above my mouth as well because it helps to cancel out that hyperpigmentation I was telling you guys about so yeah that's what I do now getting into the eyes I go in with my elf eyelid primer and you guys know I've had this in my arsenal forever I love that one dollar primer and another thing I love, which I showed you guys in my recent favorites, is the Anastasia, Anastasia Shadow Couture Palette. So I just went in with that Morocco shade to give it that warmth and the crease. Everything else, I will be using this eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. that came in the Play Beautifully box. And I just wanted to show you guys swatches of that. Swatches of that eyeshadow. Like, this eyeshadow quad was definitely took me by surprise because number one it wasn't from the studio line and to me like the studio line from elf with the black packaging usually has a better quality of things with the white packaging so this took me by surprise these elf eyeshadows was the bomb highly pigmented they lasted all day and i really had no problems you see i didn't really have to put too much shadow in order to make them pop i only used that elf eyelid primer which 
the primer goes with the eyeshadows perfectly. So I'm telling you guys, definitely check this out. If you see this quad, it's something that would be great for everyday look. So I think if you guys see that, definitely pick it up because I really did like this look that I put with it. So going in with that deeper color with the crease and using the goldish tones and bronzy tones on the lids and then just going in with a clean eyeshadow brush and blending all of that out, blending it together so everything looks nice and seamless. Now I'm going in with my going in with Anastasia Anastasia's dip brow pomade from my brows and I'm not going to show you guys that in this video if you guys want to see that definitely click here so you guys can be taken to that video which is another popular video that you guys just seem to love so definitely check that out over there if you haven't seen it and now I'm actually doing something that I normally do not do with my eyeshadows and that is applying a brow bone highlight I do not usually do this I usually let my concealer just be my brow bone shade but being that I was using this palette and testing it out I just said let me do it and I did like the way it turned out and I was just showing you guys that Morocco shade again from the Anastasia palette because I wanted to put it put it underneath my lower lash line and off camera of course I did my lashes and my liner but going back in with that lightest shade from the palette and I'm just doing you know a couple of details and making sure everything looks nice and seamless now we're back at the face going in with my makeup forever HD powder foundation going to blend everything out make sure that it matches my skin tone perfectly I like to blend out that Sasha you know that bright highlighted that bright highlighted area that I have all over my face and make everything look nice and seamless so I'm just going in with that and now we're going to bronze up the face with my CoverGirl Ebony Bronze Bronzer and we're just going to take that around the perimeters of my face also along the sides of my nose I didn't really want to contour just bronze it up a little bit so taking that along the sides of my jawbone and everything like that just to bring some life back into my face Now, we have the Becca Afterglow. I do have a full blog post on this. If you guys want to see swatches and everything, definitely check that out. But I'm going in with that shade. I believe it's Rose Gold. I'm going in with that as a highlight shade. And I will also be using the two blushes in the palette. Now, the blushes don't really show up. Uh -huh. I would say, I don't want to say not show up. It gives like a nice, natural look. And I started off with that orangey shade, and as you can see, it only gave like a hint of color for my skin tone. So I went ahead and I popped on that pink shade on top, and it gave it a slight bit, a slight bit more of color, which I really didn't buy the palette for the bron for the blushes anyway. I just thought it'd be nice to try. And this was another one of the highlights from the Play Beautifully box. It is the e.l.f. Matte Lipstick. And let me tell y'all, this lipstick was a nice surprise. First of all, I love the color. I thought the color was perfect for the fall. And I just like it glided on really nice and smooth. It lasted a really good time while I wore it. And this e.l.f. HD powder. I used to use the loose powder and I was so happy they actually put it in a press form. And I was even happier that it was in my Play Beauty Free box. So as you can see, I just basically set all over my face. And I used a powder brush as opposed to using the sponge applicator that they actually gave me. But yeah, I really enjoyed the e.l.f. Elf Play Beauty Free box that I got this month. And here you just see me really quickly just doing my hair rather than use my regular hair, which I did blow dry the night before. I went in and threw in my clippings from Big Shop Hair. And if you guys want to know more information about this hair, I'll definitely leave a link down below. Check out that video because I do have a discount code so you guys can get a hold of these clippings, which I freaking love. It makes it so nice and convenient to like just do your hair really quickly especially when I didn't know what I was going to do with my hair and I was tired of buns and stuff like that which definitely I rocked a bun today but <laughs> but yeah I just did a quick top up top knot half up half down look and if you guys want to see like a full tutorial on something like this let me know because I was pretty much rushing through this video which is why I didn't show like the whole I didn't show the whole demonstration of me actually doing it because I was actually in a rush to go to work and as you saw in the beginning of the video I didn't even fully 
rub in that hair moisturizer that is irking my nerves right now but yeah this is the finished look guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i really did enjoy these elf play beautifully box and i'm excited to see what's going to be in next month's box which i just got an email it's actually on its way to us so stay tuned make sure you subscribe to k's ways if you want to know what's coming in the next box and until next time beauties i'll catch you in the next one bye y'all